We had a lady come in last night, a complicated case. She required a cesarean section. Surgery went fine. The baby, however, required resuscitation. After about an hour, the child was able to breathe on their own. And that's why we're here, to serve the community of Boozy and to be here for them. What I've been told by several patients is first the winds came and blew the roofs off our houses. And then when the roof was gone, the rain came and soaked everything inside. And then the river started to flood and came up and filled everything with mud. They're trying to rebuild, but the hospital is quite damaged. Many of the buildings are not functional anymore. They're not able to offer all the services they could. So what we're doing is filling that gap temporarily. It took us a week and a half to set up this hospital and it is fully functioning now. We have patients going through the door. We saw, I think, about 120 or so patients yesterday. Some patients who had injuries from the cyclone, some cuts and some infected wounds. I also free up in the cyclone corte de chapa e pico de, de prego. Então, atualmente estava a recuperar a minha casa, então também houve um corte no dedo de, de uma chapa. At any given minute, we don't know what's going to happen. It has been very busy. We did seven deliveries in this tent in the last 24 hours, and we're dealing very much with the worries about cholera, infectious disease, HIV, and so forth. I want to give good medical care I want to give compassionate care. I want to help take some of the burden off these women who've suffered so much. So she walked to the river, and then she took the boat across the river, and then came here while she was in labor. Yes. In a very prolonged, difficult labor. And her baby is beautiful. A prolonged labor like this, with no intervention, no surgical intervention, is truly life or death. Samuel came in, he was very hot, his fever was up to 106 at one point, and the doctors decided he most likely had malaria and probably cerebral malaria. He just got so much good tender care. Estou feliz porque ele já já está recebendo já está também. Eu sempre olho para meu marido para ficar normal. Dizer muito obrigado por termos esse, esse hospital aqui para nos socorrer. Nós estamos gratos mesmo, porque sem o hospital nós não, não podemos fazer nada com esse tipo de problema que nós temos. Você tem que se sentir muito feliz quando tudo que você tinha, que não era nada, está morto. E para vir ao lado e mostrar amor, mostrar compaixão e kindness e dizer que você não está sozinho. Deus te ama. He's sending people to care for you. That's a message very unique to what we're doing, and that is the message we want to give.